proceed into the consecration proper. Bishop um, elect, please take a step forward. One step, yes. After the examination, then the oath. Do you now vow before God the cloud of witnesses with which we are surrounded and this congregation that your loyalty is to Jesus Christ alone? and that your loyalty is whole and undivided, do you vow now that you have no part in any secret society in conscience of which another oath of allegiance is imposed upon your sacramentum? Do you now vow before this cloud of witnesses that you will cease forthwith to be a minister of Salem worldwide, Salem family worldwide, the moment there is any proven evidence that you have part in any secret society, I do so affirm to maintain undivided faith and loyalty to Jesus Christ, relying upon his grace to uphold me. With that vow, you now move to take the declaration and the oath of allegiance for the office of a bishop. I permit you to do your declaration, being a lawyer, a declaration by yourself. And then the Bible, that is the old instrument, your hand on it. Please give him the Bible. Yes. Declaration and oath of allegiance for the office of a bishop. Be it known before God and this congregation and assembly that I, Reverend Enobong Ete, having been bestowed with the privilege of service in the vineyard of the Most High God in the office of the bishop, do hereby solemnly affirm and covenant as follows that I humbly accept and agree to function and serve God, mankind, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, and all authorities of Salem family worldwide in the aforementioned capacity, that I shall at all times live in line with biblical principles guiding all ministerial ethics, that I have understood the terms of my covenant to walk with God and my assignment in this office. And I will not do anything that will embarrass this office, this ministry, and the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. I shall never break ranks. Yes, turn over. Yes. I will uphold, propagate, and spread the good news and gospel of Jesus Christ in line with the biblical principles and the vision of Salem family worldwide. I will maintain, retain, and guide the dignity and decorum and services associated with and in relation to the office of a bishop in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, and in particular, Salem family worldwide. I affirm to pay true allegiance and obey all laws, rules, and regulations of the church of God, and to respect all lawful and constituted authorities of the church, in accordance with the principles of the Holy Scripture and the vision of Salem family worldwide. I do promise 
to discharge my duties creditably and to operate in these offices with honor, dignity, and integrity to the glory of God and the advancement of the kingdom work in the ministry. I promise that the ministry, Salem Family Worldwide, and the College of Bishops of International Covenant Ministerial Council reserve the right to renounce and withdraw my certificate of office should I show character that is irresponsible and unscriptural. And I hereby declare that I make this oath conscientiously in good faith and in accordance with the provisions of the Oath Act, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004. So help me God. Let it be, let it be known that the consecrant has so taken his vows and confirmed the oath of allegiance. He will now sign and endorse the oath which seals of the oath that he has taken before us today. Please come forward. Please stop the song until we are done with the oath, please. Stop the song. Stop the song. Your 
majesty, your majesty. Brethren, having thus examined the consecrant, the wife of the consecrant, and having taken his vows and oath of allegiance for the office of a bishop, I am persuaded and I believe you are also persuaded that the consecrant has a proven family testimony and other important requirements that can help us present him to our Archbishop and International President to admit him into the College of Bishops of the International Covenant Ministerial Council. If this congregation is thus in agreement with me that I should present the consecrant to the most reverend, my Father in the Lord, <laughs> the Archbishop of Interna International President, the Archbishop and International President, of International Covenant Ministerial Council for consecration. I should like us to echo our affirmation with a loud, a very loud yes. Lagos! Lagos, 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 yes! Stand to your feet and shout yes! Jesus. You babies, keep standing. I ask you, the consecrant, to look towards your beloved father your mentor and pastor leader who has nurtured you up to this time. The Archbishop, the Chief Consecrant. The Most Reverend, the Archbishop and International President of International Covenant Ministerial Council Star, my father. The College of Bishops, having thoroughly examined the Consecrant, we are so persuaded that Reverend Enobong Ete Esquire can be consecrated as a bishop. I therefore have the honor of presenting this great man of dignity and honor to present my beloved brother and friend, Reverend Enobong Ete Esquire, to you for consecration. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Bishop Rick. is not an attainment. Bishop Rick. is serious kingdom leadership. When the legal counsel was leading Reverend Ete and the wife, when the examinations were going on, the Archbishop George Amu turned to me and he said, my brother, this is a serious kingdom business. And I said, it must be taken seriously. He said, he wish some bishops going around gullibly just carrying the rank around to know how serious this matter is.
we don't take it lightly. And that means anyone that bears off this oath of allegiance ceases to be a bishop. You may have your certificate, but by the oath of allegiance affirmation that you denigrate on even though Saul was sitting on the throne as a king, God had anointed David. He was no more the king of Israel. It's not about the certificate somebody carries. It's about abiding faithfully and loyally to carry out the commission. So somebody may still be bearing bishop, but ceases to be a bishop. We don't take this lightly at all. The year November 2004, I got a letter from a college of bishop in UK. I'd just been there, preached a couple of places and came back. And they said they nominate me to into their college of bishops to represent that college in Africa. And I did a letter to them, thank them. Thank you for the honor. But I'm not sure, I'm not persuaded it's my time yet. I'm too young in ministry to become a bishop. I need to work. We send a letter to them. They just couldn't understand why somebody would be rejecting that honor. February 1995. We got another letter from a college of bishop in California nominating us among nine bishops in Africa that we're going to consecrate. And I did the same letter, sent it to them. Thank you for the honor. But when God has persuaded us that it was time, we will accept the honor. Meanwhile, we want to walk. It's not an aspiration to pursue. It's a work you must do. It's not a lobby to put in place. This man never knew when I called him and gave him the letter. He never had to lobby for it. In fact, if anybody lobbies around me for bishopric, you never get it. You never get it. And people, there are some people who don't know the inner matters and mysteries of ministry. They want to comment on it. Sometimes it can be a great error. And I'm praying that God, our pastors, senior pastors, don't lobby for it. Every one of you now elected, we have given you an information. When Elijah came, saw Elisha, he threw a mantle on him. That was in the anointing. That was information. He said, young man, this is not your purpose you are pursuing. You are pursuing a vocation. And there are too many people who pursue vocation and profession all their lives and never pursued purpose for once before they meet their master. He said to Elisha, what you are pursuing is not your purpose. It's your profession. It's your vocation. You are successful in it, but your purpose is left untouched. And excuse me, when it touches your purpose, it's a very serious eternal issue. Because you are going back someday to go and answer to your master who created you. Mercedes Benz does not determine its purpose. Mercedes Benz is attached to purpose by the manufacturer. The day you were created, God created your purpose. Some have discovered. Some have not discovered. Reverend Ate discovered. When I knew that he was far from his purpose, I called him to my office. He didn't have to come and see me. I called him from the political office. Come here, young man. You have proven excellence in your profession. You are proving terrific in your vocation. But your purpose is unscratched. He screamed. He said, Dad, I, I'm, I'm already serving part-time. I said, Peter left the call to go serve part-time when he said, I go a fishing. Jesus had to come back from heaven a second time to give Peter a second call. 
And I said, don't let Jesus come back from heaven a second time for you to know your purpose. That was the beginning. He listens to the voice of his father. That was the beginning of surrender. I did not tell him I was going to post him to Lekki. I just wanted him to discover his purpose. But when transition was clear to me that there must be transition here, Lord, who am I sending? He showed him to me clearly. Amen. And here we are. College of Bishops, he passed. <laughs> Family testimony brought him to 70%. Legal counsel have confirmed that we can go ahead and consecrate him. So, with the legal counsel, his score is 90%. The affirmation of the College of Bishops has brought him to 100%. So, I'm glad to announce that we shall continue into his consecration process. And we are going to be smart because there's a message the church must hear. Amen. Members of the household of Jesus Christ and Salem family in particular worldwide. You have heard the testimonies and the affirmations and undertakings of Reverend Enobo Ite, who now stands before you. The bishop elects you face the congregation place. Do you at this time accept, signify your acceptance of him following the call and the election of the Council of Bishops, the College of Bishops, and the affirmation of the legal council? Do you at this time signify your affirmation that we make him a bishop in Salem family worldwide? If you do accept you then give me an echoing affirmation by screaming and shouting your yes. Let heaven bear witness that we have affirmed. Amen. Amen. Some are even pumping their fists. Affirmation. I love that. <laughs> that looks South African this morning. <laughs> now, responsibility of the church. Do you thereby pledge that you will always assist him? Do you pledge a new level of commitment and service with him? Do you pledge to maintain unity of spirit in the bond of peace? Do you pledge to be eager to spread the means of grace with him according to the ordinance of the church by making more disciples? Do you pledge to make yourself severally, individually and collectively available as fit instruments of salvation for the nations? If this congregation is affirming this to me this morning as I lead the College of Bishops to consecrate him, do I hear you say, we do pledge the Lord being our helper? We pledge, Lord, being our then we may proceed from here into consecration. And let us pray. Oh Lord, my God. When I in awesome wonder consider all consider all the works, the works thy hands have made I see the stars I see the 
in the microphone. I hear the rolling thunder. your goodness to pour up out upon your servant. We ask your grace to be abundant upon your servant. You say to Moses, bring these 70 elders to the mountain that I may take off your spirit and pour upon them that they may bear their burden with you. Today, Take, O oh God, the measure of grace as deposited upon my life for this commission. Take, O oh God, the spirit that you have revealed to us of this commission. Take, O oh God, and place upon your servant in abundance that he shares the leadership of the entire ministry with his colleagues walking side by side, hands locked in hands and as they lift up my hands upon the mountains that victory will become for Salamis forever in the mighty name of Jesus help him to be a worthy leader Help him to be an anointed leader as we go into the consecration. In the name of Jesus. Can the vestment bearers bring the vestment for dedication? eternal spirit in whom we live and move and have our being whose love and grace and mercy have never ended you've chosen us the weak things of the earth to serve you and manifest to the world to this age and to this generation your manifold grace we don't take this for granted Lord we don't take it lightly we are not called before because we qualify we are called because of your grace and your mercy you called us to equip us and qualify us we celebrate you that these vestments, O oh God, will not just be clothed to wear. They will be ornaments of grace. Manifesting grace and power. 
healing the sick. In the name of Jesus. You said to Moses, put on this garment upon Aaron for beauty and for glory. Let the beauty of heaven reflect through your servant. Let the glory of God come upon your children. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Church, point your hand and just begin to bless God's servant here. Bless God's servant and his father. Face me, face me. Please pray for them. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not just an office they are entering into. It's enormous responsibility. Pray for them. Pray grace. Pray grace. Oh God. That your grace will be there day and night for your servants. When men say things that should hurt them, grace to absorb them. Oh God. Grace. For this office, there will not be an empty office, oh God. Office saturated with grace and anointing. My Father, you've been with us all this journey through. Now I commend to you your servants who have raised and nurtured them. Your presence shall not depart from them, not by day, not by night. Lord, we have called upon you in the days of trouble, and you have heard us. When they call upon you in the days of trouble, my Father, hear them. Hear them. Hear them. Hear them. That by the pouring of this anointing oil, the Spirit of God will come upon you in a dimension like never before. That your mouth will speak of the mysteries of the gospel. Your mouth will speak of the power of his resurrection that by your hands the sick shall be healed the dead shall be raised by your hands the sick shall be healed the dead shall be raised. There shall be miracles of diverse nature. Deliverances to the oppressed. Comfort to the afflicted. Amen. Joy to the sorrowful. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you appear, you bear the sign of the glory of your father. Hell shall fear you. Hell
heaven shall rejoice because of you. In the mighty name of Jesus. By this anointing. Receive an enormous grace of the Holy Ghost. Enormous grace of the Holy Ghost. And the spirit of your father. Come upon you today. In the name of Jesus. My father. Such as I have received. I have always imparted. These ones. Shall be kingdom champions. You shall not know failure in ministry. Every mountain is climbable. Every situation is solvable. In the name of Jesus. Wisdom to dissolve doubts receive. In Jesus name. Wisdom to dissolve doubts receive. Please bishops lay your hands upon their shoulders and impart. Just impart. Just impart. Impart grace. Impart grace. Impart grace. That's what they need church. Let's pray for them for grace. Let's pray grace. Grace for that heaven's currency that makes things happen. Grace. 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 Oh my God. Let's lift our hands. Let's raise them up. Raise them up. Help them. upon him representing a covering of the righteousness of Jesus that you preach
representing a covering of God around your family. For they that trust in the Lord, they shall be like Mount Zion. You shall not be moved forever. You shall abide. They shall be surrounded by mountains round about. Because of the covering of the righteousness of Jesus. There is a covering of protection around your family. Bishop Michael Popo, can you please wear him the stole? A mark of your servanthood. Bishop Prick is not lordship, it is servanthood. The stole represents your servanthood to the ministry, to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Bishop Ibenu, can you please put a ring on his hand? As Christ the head of the church is married to the church. So your new assignment is not only to be married to Christ, but marry people to your Jesus. Archbishop Archibong, please can you wear him the cross mitre? Sorry, the cross pendant. This is the message you are commissioned to preach. Jesus is no longer on the cross. That's why you are wearing an empty cross. You preach not only the crucified Christ anymore, but the resurrected Christ and his power. Archbishop George Amu, please, can you wear him the skull cap? Bishop David Nemesi, bring me the staff of office. The ministry of a shepherd is to give hope to the sheep. Psalm 23 is written from the historical perspective of the Jewish shepherd. The sheep has confidence. As long as he can see the shepherd's rod. The sheep can be left behind in the thicket. And thinking it's dawn and wild beasts are coming to eat him up. Or left behind in the cradle of a rock. But he can hear the shepherd hitting the rock with his rod. He knows there's protection around. He knows there's hope. The sheep will trace wherever the shepherd's rod is lifted because there he knows the shepherd is. The shepherd's rod is not for beating the sheep. It's for encouraging the sheep. It's for leading the sheep. When they are in the valley and the sheep are separated from the shepherd a little bit and cannot see the shepherd, the shepherd only lifts the rod. And the sheep knows the shepherd is going before us. They follow the rod and can see the sheep, the, the, the shepherd. As long as you remain in faith, 
committed to the commission of Salem, this rod will raise many sheep and establish them. Commit into your hand today the staff of the office of a bishop in Salem family worldwide. Can Bishop Onimisi and our mother wear the cape, the cope? God said to Moses, deck Aaron with this apparel. And this is for glory, for beauty. The cope represents the glory of your office, the responsibility of your office, and the beauty of your office. Somebody give me the mitre. On the day of Pentecost, the Bible tells us the Holy Ghost came rushing down with tongues of fire. That's the reason you see bishops' mitres have a tongue. It represents the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. That you don't do this job in carnal knowledge, but in the power of the Holy Ghost. The mitre represents that someday Jesus will come and put crowns upon us who have served him faithfully. I put an earthly crown upon you today representing the crowning of your consecration, a symbol of the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. And as you serve him faithfully on that day, you shall wear your crown eternally before him. Struck the, the viewers, men and brethren. This thing started from an obscure place. It has produced many leaders on three continents of the earth, Salem family. Is preaching the gospel. My joy. Is to see this day. Where a son who does not only believe the commission. But believes in his father. Is raised. I put in your hands. Your message. Never deviate from this. Brethren, it's my joy to present to you the right Reverend Enobong Ete. the bishop over Lagos province of Salem family worldwide.
Hallelujah. Why not let's give Jesus a celebration clap offering. forth in your case in the mighty name of Jesus Father I lift my hand before you and on behalf of your children that you stretch forth your canopy of protection over everyone over their families disaster shall not locate you the every enemy going around by day or by night they shall not locate you in the mighty name of Jesus the goodness of the Lord shall follow you his countenance shall shine upon you your bread, nobody will take from your mouth. Your water, nobody will take from your hands. The place meant for you, you shall be there. In the mighty name of Jesus. He shall establish your feet, no one will push you down. He will enlarge your feet under you, you shall not slip away. In the mighty name of Jesus. The grace of God multiply upon you today. And I hear somebody shout a big amen. The College of Bishops, let's step forward. And have our first snapshot that will share the goodness, and you can start congratulating the new bishop. He will stand here with his wife and come forward, congratulate him. That is an odious one for you. You must stand there, praise God. You receive grace for it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, you were the same. Yesterday, today, forever Nobody is like you You never 
never change Yesterday, today, forever Nobody loves me like you Can I hear 